Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lugness Monster, and today we do have a pretty exciting video to get into. So, real quick, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to go down, hit that like button, and subscribe. And we are actually doing a giveaway at 7,500 subs, which we are like 150 subs away from. We're really close to it, and it's actually just one of my custom 3D printed stands. These are exclusive to my premium members as of right now. But I am doing a free subscriber giveaway, so one of my subs can win one as well. So yeah, pretty excited about that. We are giving that away at 7,500 subs. You do have to be subbed to the channel to enter though, so make sure you go down, hit that like button, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get right into the news. First up, we do have the Star Wars The Black Series 40th Anniversary of Return of the Jedi Admiral Akbar Kenno Kenner Deco figure, which was actually revealed today. This one is an exclusive to London Comic Con, and I have mixed emotions about it. At first, whenever they did announce that there would be a convention exclusive Admiral Akbar, I thought it was just a really silly choice for a convention exclusive, and I wasn't like a huge fan of the idea, but we didn't know it was a Kenner Deco. So now knowing that it's a Kenner Deco figure, I actually really, really like the idea of that. Uh, you know, we have had Kenner Deco figures before in the past, kind of like the Kenner Boba Fett, which is one of the most expensive Black Series figures now. And, um, you know, it's one of those, it's a cool idea, and I really love the throwback things. It's, it's one of those figures where you don't buy it for the figure itself, you buy it for the figure on the card and everything like that, the whole experience. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those figures that uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of. But when it comes to the uh, Admiral Akbar Kenner figure, the it's like the exact same thing like at least with Boba Fett uh he has different colors like he has a yellow and the red gauntlet and then he does have like the blue undersuit with like a different shade of green like he actually has different colors compared to Admiral Akbar where all they did on this figure was remove paint apps uh for example like he had a little thing on his chest which uh had like buttons where on the the new Kenner Deco figure it's just no paint there at all he did. He originally had paint on his like uh, arms and his head, which they kind of just removed, and now it's the blank mold. He also did have pretty detailed eyes, and they kind of like nudged down the eyes as well. And it took all of the amazing detail that went into the original Admiral Akbar figure, and they just took it out. And you know, it's one of those things. I understand you're trying to go for the like original Kenner look, but that only works with figures with the original Kenner look being different than the actual look of the character and so with Admiral Akbar, it doesn't look like a Kenner Deco figure it just looks like a lazy figure that they didn't repaint at all they just forgot to add paint to and it looks like comparing them side by side the Kenner Deco Admiral Akbar just looks really really bad so again it's one of those figures like you know if you have it on card like that it's it's great it's fine I, I really hope they do the like holographic card back it's hard to tell from the photo but I'm guessing that uh, since this is one of the convention exclusives, most convention exclusives do have the holographic card back. So I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that this one does too. But, you know, it's just one of those, like, I feel like they could have picked a, maybe a better Kenner, Kenner Deco figure. Or even something else, maybe like an Admiral Akbar and his chair as like a deluxe figure set. But the fact that, you know, they kind of just took the original Admiral Akbar figure, didn't change much, and then just took away paint apps, it just kind of sucks, you know? I, I don't know. And it's also different, like, you know, you could argue, well, the Kenner Deco figures are going to go up in value because, uh, you know, like, look at Boba Fett. That Boba Fett figure is, what, a two, $250 figure on the aftermarket? Well, that's for a few reasons. One, that's a different outfit of Boba Fett we've never gotten before. We've already had an Admiral Akbar, which is actually arguably a better version of Admiral Akbar I have in front of me. I got mine for $5. And, uh, you, you know, it's, it's one of those things where that Kenner Boba Fett, we didn't have any of those we didn't have another release of this kind of Boba Fett and uh, this one is arguably more nostalgic as well because a lot of people did of course have the original Kenner Boba Fett figure when it was out and then I also do think that just original Kenner Boba Fett is a very iconic figure because of course the whole like rocket firing mishap it's a pretty iconic figure one of the most famous action figures of all time and I believe it was also one of the like most expensive of all time like the original like rocket firing one that was shown at San Diego Comic-Con I believe it even showed up on a uh, TV show as well but like it's just it's it's pretty iconic and so them making a black series uh, like San Diego Comic-Con version of it it worked pretty well but with other figures even like an Admiral Akbar it just does not work as well so I don't know I we'll have to wait and see but this figure does look like it will be available outside of London Comic Con. 
Uh, if I had to guess Hasbro Pulse, we don't really know yet for sure, though, so I'll definitely let you guys know as soon as I find out, but it probably will be available outside London Comic Con if you are not going, which is pretty good, especially for everybody else in other countries. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a cool idea, and I think I'm going to try to pick it up if I can. Uh, hopefully it's widely available. We don't, like like I said, we don't really know where it's going to be available to yet. But, yeah, I, I'm thinking I'm going to try to pick it up, and uh, comment down below what you guys think about it. Anyway, moving on to the next piece of news... We do have some more Captain Rex controversy. The Star Wars The Black Series Red Box Captain Rex re-release was recently cancelled. I did make an entire video talking about it. It is pinned in the card if you want to go check it out. But uh, this figure went up for pre-order over a year ago and Hasbro just now like cancelled all the pre-orders. And I believe Big Bad Toy Store was the only store that didn't cancel pre-orders. I believe Entertainment Earth, Dorkside, all those other fan channel stores did cancel their pre-orders. And so uh, there's a lot of controversy around this because, you know, it's more than a year and a few months later and they're, they're canceling this figure, which is a shame. But we actually do have some updated news on that. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store, which was the only store that didn't send out cancellation emails, actually changed their release date of the figure back to 2023, which is a year in advance. I believe it was second quarter of 2023, so it's quite a ways away, too. But they didn't cancel it, which is, you know, pretty interesting. But the other thing that really shocks me is they put it back up for pre-order on their website. So if you do need one, your Entertainment Earth or Dorkside got canceled, you can always try Big Bad Toy Store. It's also one of those, if these other stores got canceled, why would Big Bad, Big Bad Toy Store still have them, you know? Uh... I don't know. I feel like it's only a matter of time before theirs get officially canceled too, but you guys probably won't know until 2023. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's weird. Um, we don't really know what's going on. Hasbro has not put out any official statement on why a lot of these figures were canceled. It's not just Rex. It was a ton of figures, which I'll go over all of them in another news video. So as soon as that one's out, I'll definitely let you guys know. So stick around because I believe that one's also coming out today as well. But yeah, it's just really weird that uh, Big Bad Toy Store would put theirs back up for pre-order too. So yeah, don't know what's up with that, but comment down below what you guys think about that. And if you did have yours canceled, I guess you could try pre-ordering from Big Bad Toy Store. And if you still need a Rex as well and you don't want to pre-order from Big Bad, try Walmart. They actually still do have the Bad Batch Rex up in stock for retail price. So if you are interested in a Captain Rex, go check out Walmart because uh, you still have a chance to get one. It's not too late. But yeah, I really wish Hasbro would give some official statement on why all these figures were canceled. M my guess, best guess for me is they're kind of focusing on other figures and uh, changing those year in advance pre-orders just to kind of get them out as quick as possible because as you know, a lot of these pre-orders are just years in advance because of the whole shipping crisis and everything. And I'm guessing because of that, just, they're just trying to pump out as more, as many more figures as possible rather than focusing on old ones. That's my best guess. I don't really know for sure though. And I'm actually coming back to refilm this because as soon as I finished filming, this was posted, but it's actually a post from Old Republic Collectibles, a, another fan channel site that sells figures. And they pretty much have had numerous reports that Rex is not canceled. And uh, I guess they're putting it back up for pre-order now too. So I'm guessing Entertainment Earth and uh, I guess Dorkside might be as well. We don't really know what's going on with Rex. Even uh, uh, Old Republic Collectibles said they don't know what's going on. So Rex is up in the air. We have no clue anymore. And yeah, it's, it's just a mess. I really don't know what's going on. And Rex is the only one like that we've seen that are, is uh, going back up for pre-order. We don't know about any of the other figures yet too. So... Yeah, I don't know anymore. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.